Hey, Dew Drops. Good afternoon. It's Diane from Corvina. How are you? Hope you're doing really well. It is Wednesday. It's hot and sunny. New City, Cincinnati. Pretty excited about the hot weather. Warming things up. I hate being cold. And I know that I'm not alone. Okay. So, it's Bird Week. Can you believe that? How cool is that? We're getting all of our inspirations from birds this week. And yesterday, we were inspired by this gorgeous, sweet little canary scarf from yesterday. Very nice. Hello Barb. Here's our canary scarf from yesterday. Very yellow with some blues, peaches, and grays. All right, so I've got it doubled up because I know my lights are super bright today. So you can see all the little details that we have going on in this scarf. I love how it turned out. It was very different looking in our water. Um, I was really nervous. I didn't know if it was going to turn out or not. And sometimes the colors just lie to you in the water because of different shadows and water depthness and, you know, whatever. So, I'm really excited. We ended up with this gorgeous scarf. Now I'm going to put it away so I don't mess it up. Today, we are choosing between some kind of rainbow birds. There's a lot of red, blue, and yellow and some orange mixed in the first option. And then number two, which is our blue and white bird. This one was absolutely overwhelming. It was nine to 21 volts for the bluebird, all right? So that's what we're doing today. I myself preferred the bluebird. The other ones are really pretty. We just don't often do a monochromatic scarf, right? We don't usually stick with like blue and then all different shades of blue. So I, I'm excited about this one, okay? All right guys, so let me show you what colors we've got here. We have got white, then we have got the light blue, we've got our darks, which are the navy and gray here. I think I'm going to throw in a little bit of this blue too, because we mix it up, it's just a little bit off from our light blue, I don't know if you can see it, yeah, it's a little bit off there, and I think... I'm going to put just a touch of this on in very small places because it's going to be like there's kind of a highlight on its feathers. So maybe we'll try and get that and add a little bit of dimension here. All right, so I'm really excited. I guess this isn't totally monochromatic. We've got gray feathers in here. It's kind of blended, but it's going to look really good. I love gray and blue together. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Going to clean our tray, let you see how that goes. Our tray's really not that dirty today. Um, it's got a little bit of yellow. You can see way down here. Um, from yesterday. But for everybody that's just joining us, you are going to watch us water marble a scarf today. Water, mar water marbling is hard to say. <laughs> and it involves floating paint on the surface of a tray of water. And once we get enough paint on our tray, we're going to move it around with tools. And then we're going to dip down a white silk scarf and pull up something totally unique. All right. Hey, Mary Alice. Hey, Karen. Barb's on. I hope you guys are doing really well. All right, guys, I'm gonna start my line down the center of the tray here. Same thing we do every time. We're priming our water to make the paint flow smoothly. There we go. And you know what? I'm gonna come back in. Do a little bit more here. There's a lot of white on this bird. He does look like a really puffy bird though, doesn't he? I like it a lot. It is called an azure kit. That's this type of bird. And I do not know where they live. I could have looked that up too. Pinterest is so much fun because now that it knows what I want to see, it like keeps, you know, we were looking at door pictures a while ago. And now all it wants to show me is uh, doors. So a week from now, all it's going to want to show me is birds, which I like. Birds are very pretty. We might have some repeat weeks though, because I'm finding some really awesome colors. I like how the bird, I really don't have a plan here. I know I didn't, I didn't say that or not say that, but um, it's kind of all over the place. I don't know what we're going to do today. Maybe we'll put a line of blue in during 
start gluing up here. Because I like how some of the, you know, the bird is color blocked, right? He's not every color everywhere. Um, but there's definite, like, you can see where all this plumage is really light blue and stuff. Yes, I'm assuming the bird is a he. Maybe it's a she. We've got a stubborn bottle here. Every once in a while that happens, we're going to unplug our bottle and get right back at it. Robin says it's going to be beautiful. I think so too, Robin. This is going to be gorgeous. Hey, Amy. I'm glad you're on, Amy. Miss you. All right, we're going to put in our pop of gray. Maybe. Anybody doing anything fun lately? I know people are kind of starting to go back in. All I keep doing is looking out the window and going, oh. I gotta get my landscape to dinner control. Other than that, I have no plans this week. Oh, I have plans to watch my children. <laughs> they take a lot of entertaining right now. Alright, drop it in our gray here. Gonna do with our blue highlight. Let's do it just right on the top of the navy. And I'm gonna drop on top of those drops to see if we can't just get kind of a sliver. If you ordered a scarf from me this weekend, all of our orders shipped out today. So be on the lookout. I use uh, two to three day shipping from anywhere in the US. If you have had your eye on a scarf that you've been thinking about that you saw me make here, it's probably up on the Corvina website. I got a bunch listed. Not all, but still a bunch. So I'm making good headway. Up in a little bit more blue. Definitely been over there and take a look. Very interesting. Yeah, when they sell out. All right, I do like that kind of dusty blue with that. I am going to do another drop of white down our, the middle of our gray here. Right, good. I think we've got a nice amount of coverage on our tray. I do think it looks like our bird. 
<laughs> All right, guys, waiting for that to come back on. Perfect. I like to be able to look at the bird while I'm doing the scarf. Or the picture, whatever we're doing. Okay, guys, what are we gonna do here? Let's do a chevron. I always like a good chevron for a feather pattern. And I know, you know, feather, bird, but this guy, he's really color blocked. You know, we'll save the feather pattern for a different bird. That would be pretty with a denim jacket. Yes, it totally would be. Hey, Becky Barron. She likes the colors. Becky, I'm so glad. All right. I'm going to move it down and then back again. I guess that I was just thinking these look like very winter colors, right? And then I looked at our bird. He's got to be a winter bird. He's so fluffy. Absolutely, Mary Alice. If you want it, send me a message. We can definitely do that. All right, so let's dip it really, really good. It's time to dip our pretty scarf. We're going to lower down white silk onto the surface of this painted design, and you are going to see the scarf instantly absorb. And we're going to have a one of a kind scarf here. All right, so thanks for good thoughts. Let's lay this scarf down, get a nice me on Instagram and YouTube wanting tutorials on how to make this scarf rack that I made, which is very flattering, but it's really embarrassing to tell them that I made it from rubber bands, safety pins, and PVC plumbing pipe. But, you know, low-tech solutions are good, right? I think so. Just need to fine-tune it a bit. Alright, so there was a little bit of hesitation. Can you guys see that? When I was putting the scarf down, I was afraid it wasn't in the water all the way over there. So you can see like a little ring. Yeah, isn't that funny? <laughs> There's no paint seeping through the scarf. It's all stuck on the other side. Um, but you, I don't know if you can see those little rings. Those are hesitation lines. So it's not bad. It's still gonna be a gorgeous scarf. Um, but if you ever buy a scarf and you see it, that's what it is. Just a little disruption in the pattern. Hey, Julie, hi, Regina. Alice, Becky, Debbie, and Tammy. Good morning, Tammy. Tammy's in Australia. Australia. I hope everything's great in Australia. Hey, Carrie. All right, guys. I think we're caught up. Ready? I think we made a really pretty scarf. Let's pull it out, pull it out of the water and see. I'm getting tongue tied. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we've got. Ooh, how pretty is that one? Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let me put it in the rinse bucket. Got to dip out of my frame here in a second. Ooh, you can't see it, but you know what? The um, Trevor's in Georgia. Hi, Trevor. Good to see. Good to hear from you from Georgia. So you guys didn't see it when I pulled it up, probably, because I didn't see it until it was in the shadow. Remember, we were gonna put this in as an accent. It looks really. 
I'm glad that we did that. That was a great decision. All right, so what we're gonna do now, I'm going to hang it to dry outside in the heat. And then when um, it's all dry, I'm gonna take pictures, post it on here, compare it to the pictures so you can see what it ended up, it ended up looking like. All right, guys, this is Diane from Corvina from Cincinnati. I hope that wherever you are, <laughs> you are not stressed in this crazy 2020 world that we're living in. I hope you find something that brings you joy and that you, I genuinely hope you have a good day. All right, so I'll see you guys back here tomorrow, live at five with another bird scar, okay? All right, remember, live colorfully, goodbye.